Good morning, everyone. Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and welcome to today's edition of The Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. Today, I wanted to continue to discuss the top five hot-moving Agile trends, the things that we see. Some of these came from emails from you that you suggested that we talk about, that we uh, that then discovered were you know, trending topics. Others are things that we dug up to help you figure out what you can be looking for. It's a top Agile trend here in 2020. Now, outside of working from home, which I think we've all gotten kind of used to and staying out of the office and social distancing and leveraging, you know, social and leveraging social ways to interact, whether it's Zoom or whatnot. um, I want to talk about a really trending topic. This is excited. So, so one of the things that we've done here at Agile Dad is uh, we were one of the first to offer an Agile marketing certification through IC Agile. While on the surface this sounds kind of oh Agile marketing, it really has made a big splash. What we've seen is that Agile for marketing has taken off. It has exploded because the truth is a campaign can be treated just like a project. And that without the agile marketing piece in place, many organizations are spinning their wheels and spending countless amount of time with feedback and topics and things going back and forth without reaping the benefits of implementing agile inside of this part of their company. You know, things have really changed. If you look at it this way, you know, traditionally, many, many years ago, it would take a long time for technology or for information to finally reach it and penetrate the end consumer. If you look at the television, for example, and for the amount of time that took to make it into every home in America versus a cell phone versus a computer, what you'll see is that technology has picked up the speed so much quicker than it ever has in the past. And that as new innovations are created, they are being driven like a force that's unreckoned with into the places where we can consume them. So in other words, before where technology was slow moving and would eventually make it to us, the truth is agile marketing needs to keep up with the pace of the technology implementation. So what we're seeing is a world of change. You know, I remember when I was young, the word was, whatever you do, don't get into a car with a stranger. Then we had taxi cabs, and we got warned, be careful. Some of those taxi cab drivers are rather strange. And now we live in a world with Uber and Lyft and other services where we can call from our cell phone app and and get a driver that we've never met before in our life to pick us up and take us somewhere. And while I'm not saying that's a positive or negative creation, what I am saying is that mentally and from a marketing perspective, we have come a long way. The views on diversity and inclusion and other cool things have have taken us. We've soared. We've gone to places and soared where we never would have dreamt we'd been before. The whole concept of VUCA and marketing and, and how we can approach marketing differently. And I feel like it's almost like trying to set up an agile SEO strategy, if you will, right? Because most people have not taken marketing seriously for years. And and, and when I say that, they don't treat it with the same dignity and respect as they do for the people who are creating software, for the people who are innovating technology. What they do instead is they say, you know, that's great, but that's not great. And, you know, we can't worry about marketing a product or service until we build a product or service. So they'd spend a whole lot of time building a product or service, oftentimes not even focusing on the front end implementation of the product, only to discover that they've built something that's outdated or something that someone asked for a long time ago or something that has all the features that people want, but not in a way that's easy for them to use. You know, we've completely missed out on the UI, UX you know, piece of it. And it's frustrating. And I think that, you know, lo and behold, high, it's time for us to, it's high time for us to really focus on how marketing can be impacted and what we can do to help them integrate some of the, some of the agile framework so that they can reap the benefits of meeting together daily, you know, planning campaigns out, you know, getting things out into a continuous flow model, 
figuring out our, our trends and, and leveraging the ability to do journey mapping and uh, persona identification and story mapping to assist in helping us build the right product or service. What we found is that many people are focusing their attention on the actual marketing post-product build, but they're not spending enough time focusing on marketing when it comes to the the introductory pieces, the design thinking, when it comes to the the ideation or to the building out of the MVP. You know, that's the time where we should be most focused on marketing initiatives to make sure that we don't have a lot of rework, to make sure we're creating things that aren't just there to generate revenue, but are there to generate excitement. And I think that it's time for us to stop drawing focus to how many things we can create. And remember that we're focused on outcome over output. And I think that this is trending right now because more and more organizations are starting to realize that if they don't have agile marketing in place early, that it affects the ability to really create a product or service that's meaningful and hurts the true marketing ability to get their product or service out to the people. You know, at one point I remember, and this wasn't that long ago, when I was working for an organization who built an over-the-counter product, a COTS product, that was sold in companies like Walmart or Sam's. And it was a DVD. And it allowed you to do certain software technology so you didn't have to log on to the internet. And I remember that if we missed a deadline, that it could push out a release for an entire year because we had to have plans for the product on a shelf and had to meet certain goals or objective in order to get the shelf space. And it was, it was pretty amazing. Now, while this hasn't changed for some retail products, what we've discovered is that now we can do that very same thing online in a continuous flow, continuous release, continuous integration type technology where we don't need to wait to get the updated DVD with information. We don't need to wait to uh, go to the store and buy something around the holidays. What we're seeing is more and more products or services are being made available online. But that doesn't discount the retailer's ability to streamline the way that they receive these products and services, even the logistics piece. I worked very closely with someone who spent a lot of time at Walmart's corporate office in Arkansas and Bentonville. And what they discovered is that even companies like this really focus heavily on logistics. And that has a marketing aspect to it as well, because we needed to be able to anticipate the needs of the stores. We needed to be able to anticipate how many units of certain items needed to be shipped to certain areas and what the most optimized way was to get them there. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, instead of us blindly building products or services, I think that the next big trend, the next thing that you're going to see is agile marketing strategy, and you're going to see agile marketing certification. And I encourage you, if you've never heard of this, reach out to us. We'd love to share with you what we know about agile marketing. We'd love to give you a sample of what the agile marketing workshop looks like. And most importantly, we'd love to get in and help your uh, help your marketing department achieve better business agility. Because what we've discovered is we can get ahead of the race and we can teach them how to do the, the piece of Agile up front. It helps the entire organization better focus on building the right product or service. So I hope this information was useful to you. As always, we encourage you to visit agiledad.com where you can seek out this information on this topic and many others. We also invite you to write to us at learnmore@agiledad.com and let us know what other topics you'd like to discuss here on the Agile Dad Daily Stand-Up Podcast. Until the next episode, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.